These look like spring flowers, but are they? Keep watching to see our sweet surprise. On Just Add Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary treats that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. These flower pot desserts are so darling and really simple to make. The first thing you need are terracotta pots, or I actually found these plastic ones at my home and gardening section. Before you use them, just line the bottom with a little bit of aluminum foil. Our first layer is going to be cake. You can use any flavor you want. I'm using vanilla. And then using a biscuit cutter, I just cut out the size of the pot. And then that's gonna be your first layer, so put it right in the bottom of your little pot. Our next layer is this chocolatey goodness. It's equal parts chocolate ganache and crushed up Oreos. So I'm just gonna grab a scoop of this and put it right on top of the cake. And the idea that I got for making this was when I go to Baskin Robbins and I get their ice cream cakes, a lot of times they're made with that chocolate fudge crunch. It's so good, so I figured why not have this in our terracotta pot. Next, before we add any more layers, we have to put in a little straw right in the center. This is gonna prevent the real flowers that we use in the pots from touching our dessert. So I've already cut these straws. I just measured it right beside the pot. And I'm just gonna put it directly into the center and it should have no problem standing up straight. Now we're gonna add our ice cream. I have mint chocolate chip, strawberry or chocolate. Again, what's great about these desserts is you can just make whatever flavor you want and you can actually do different flavors too. You can also make these desserts ahead of time and then put them in the freezer and really let the ice cream and that chocolate fudge mixture come together. Next, we're gonna do more of this chocolate fudge crunch. So basically what we're doing is just making personal little ice cream cakes. All right, let's do one more flavor of ice cream. I'm gonna do chocolate. Oh my gosh. There we go. And depending on how many layers you wanna do, do whatever you want. You know, it's really important to have fun with it. I'm gonna add a little bit more cake. And then when you're at your top layer, you're going to add your crushed up Oreos. It looks just like dirt. How cool is this? To get your Oreos super fine like this, we just used a food processor. But you can also put it in a Ziploc bag and use a rolling pin to kind of crush them up. And now for the finishing touch, a flower. So just put it directly into the straw. Ta-da! It's a little flower pot dessert! Look how great that is. I'm so impressed. This looks absolutely amazing. Let's do a couple more. These flower pot desserts look so adorable and they're delicious too. They're perfect for weddings, birthdays, or your next dinner party. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide and let me know in the comment box below what your favorite dessert is to make. I'm Brandy and we'll see you next time on Just Add Sugar. Bye.